Hello students and welcome to my channel MathSub. So I'm Dr. Tanya Bose and I will be talking about the properties of Fourier transform. So in this video, I would like to talk about the scaling property of the Fourier transforms. Right. So now let us see that what is the scaling property all about. Now the scaling property says that whenever the Fourier transform for the function f of x is equal to f of alpha, then whenever we are changing the scale, that means x is being changed to a times x, then what is the result? The scaling factor, that is 1 by a, and we will multiply the scaling factor 1 by a, and in your Fourier transform, alpha will get changed to alpha by a. Right. So as I told you that whenever uh, Fourier transforms are basically used for speech recognition, image processing. So in image processing, you might have seen that we sometimes, you know, uh, we pick a pick and then we enlarge it or then we make it small. So when we make it large, that means we are multiplying it with a scaling factor. Right. We just have a button to click, but actually what is happening behind the scenes is that we are multiplying it with a scaling factor that is a. So that a is greater than 1 whenever we are making it bigger in size and a is always less than 1 we are, when we are making it small, right? So that is what is the meaning of the scaling property. So whatever is the scaling property, we will divide by the scaling property and in your Fourier transform, we will change alpha to alpha by a, right? So now let us try to understand how the scaling property is being applied in the questions. So look at this question. Find the Fourier transform of f of x equal to sine x in the interval 0 to pi and 0 otherwise. And you need to evaluate the Fourier transform of f of 2 times x. Right. So the first part of the question is already covered in your videos of Fourier transform. So do watch my video for Fourier transform. I've solved that question there. So without wasting time, I will just like to take the solution for the Fourier transform. So I know that the Fourier transform for this function fx is given by 1 pi under root 2 pi e to the power minus iota alpha pi plus 1 upon 1 minus alpha square. Now, I have to calculate the Fourier transform for the function f of 2x, right? So what is my scale? My scale is 2. So first of all, I will divide by this factor 1 by 2. And wherever in my Fourier transform I have alpha, I will replace it with alpha by 2, right? So 1 by under root 2 pi is a constant. It will come as it is. And wherever I have alpha in my answer, I'll just change it to alpha by 2. So this is the first change. And then the denominator will become 1 minus alpha square. So alpha square will become alpha square by 4, right? So you can take the common denominator 4 out. So you'll get 4 upon 2 under root 2 pi. And here we will get 1 plus e to the power minus iota alpha pi by 2 divided by 4 minus alpha square. Right. So you can easily cut off this 2 and you can make it as under root 2. So it will become under root 2 by pi into 1 plus e to the power minus iota alpha pi by 2 divided by 4 minus alpha, right? So you can do any question now on scaling property, right? So I hope you understood the property and you will be able to apply it to any question, right? So thank you so much for watching the video and do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video and believe in yourself, you will definitely do it. Have a nice day.